I'm Emily. And I'm James, and today's topic is the protest in Egypt and how Americans should think about it. Should we be on the side of the protesters who are trying to use Facebook, Twitter, the internet to get out and maybe more of a pro-democracy uh, message and demanding that their president, uh, Mubarak, step down after right. what, decades of, of ruling? Like 30 years or something. Like and, that. Or should we be on the side of Mubarak, who has been an ally of the United States, uh, supporting uh, peace uh, with Israel and uh, just generally being a bit right. more friendly than maybe other you know Arab uh, nations might be? Um, or should we have this kind of quasi middle position, which seems to be what the the administration is taking? Right. That you know we favor democracy in general, but we haven't necessarily uh, been vociferous in our right. support for the protesters or against Mubarak. They probably haven't been totally supportive of the protesters because, like you said, they're allies with Mubarak. But I think you find that like, well, you want to. At least I feel like, as I hear about it, I want to. I mean, if people want democracy, they want. If it's leading to something good and something better, but there's a chance yeah. that they could find they have a lead. No, then there's like a, a vacuum, and suddenly who's going to get to the top? Who's going to rise to power? Right. We. I think. I mean, the president. This president specifically really talks about ideals a lot. Mubarak. No, I'm saying our oh, president. Obama. Okay. Or, yeah. Obama. Obama talks about ideals a lot. Yeah. Uh, we have to live up to our ideals as a country. And right. It seems like That's supporting democracy, no matter where it might lead, and supporting people's freedom to choose their own path, seems like it's part of that. Uh, idealism. So it's almost like if you really want to live up to it, you kind of have to go with what uh, these people might want, right. even if it's not what you want. Now, a question is, what if you see the end of that path? Maybe the protesters don't, but it's, if, what if he sees the bigger picture and says, okay, if you do this, then they have 10 possible people and that guy, you know what I mean? Right, the actual person who could come into power would right. be even worse. So no, no, no. it's very hard, and I think uh, that's probably why we are not yeah, making these kind of decisions. <laughs> we're still so, learning. Good luck to the people who have to. Uh, we're just going to keep talking about it. I'm James. I'm Emily. Bye. Bye.